What's going on everybody? Two Cent Killer Gaming here yet again with another video of Fallout 76. Today we're going to do a few things you might not have known about the beautiful White Springs Resort in Appalachia. So yeah, just hope everybody's been safe and happy out there. Loving the world in this crazy time. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go over a few things about the White Springs Resort that few people probably didn't know existed. I've played the game for God knows how many hours by now, and it's been, uh, it's been a minute. And I didn't know a few of these things myself. Like, I did a little bit of exploring, and I, I found a few interesting things. And I got a theory coming up here. It's um, so we're gonna do um, we'll call it top five things you might not have known about the White Springs Resort. So, without further ado, me playing this beautiful piano here. Let's um, let's break it down and get into it. Let's see what happens here. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I just enjoyed myself on this piano for a second. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Number one. Now, come find out, selling things from White Springs Resort is is beneficial. There's a few things in game that are worth a nice chunk of caps. Your service, and sir. specifically this little golf outfits here you can get a whopping 24 caps out of each one of these little golf outfits you find and I mean dude they are scattered all over White Springs it's it's pretty easy to find <laughs> you can probably find 30 or 40 of them just on a run through and as soon as you do that just bounce out of server back in server and you can grab a bunch more you can make a shitload of caps i mean if you look i got like eight grand in caps just off messing around with this stuff so it's it's a good thing to know golf clothes are worth number two this one is the sulfur well now if you didn't know about it if you go on the back side of the resort there's this little i don't know you can see it it's it's a stone gazebo covered shelter and it actually cures diseases one of the the myths of the white springs resort if you've ever dove into the research is that it was built on a sulfur spring and this magical sulfur fountain will cure you of any disease if you look i drink from it here and i i think i had parasites or something so i drank and uh, red worms bam recovered from red worms but if you collect the water it just gives you dirty water so you pretty much have to drink from it every time but hey why waste looking for them disease cures and caps on that when you can just pop here real quick and take a sip i never knew this existed so yeah it's something you might want to know about let's get into the next one number three these are the two hidden vendors i didn't know existed in here like these two completely completely new to me but hey if you're an alcoholic this first one will be your favorite because he's a bartender but uh this is tannin he is the bartender of white springs as you can see he sells only liquor but hey you're an alcoholic in game and need some liquor my mans will hook you up and he's a good listener I'll tell you I sat here and dumped a bunch of my problems on this dude and he didn't even flinch man took it like a straight robot he was great but yeah if you come through here go to this little pretty pink room yep and then turn off to the left here you will find bubbles 
dun, dun, dun. the Nuka Cola vendor. Now, this is interesting because I never even seen a Nuka grape. As you can see down there on the bottom, I think I remember something about it back when, but don't remember seeing one, and it's pretty rare, I guess. But yeah, so if you ever need Nuka Cola, you can come hit up Bubbles here. I decided to buy all of these because when do I ever see every flavor at the same time? And honestly, I think it'll make a decent display piece. Take it back to my camp and I'll throw them up in some displays and it'll look good. Especially the orange. I haven't seen Nuka orange in a minute either. It's just a few things you rarely run into in game. Now Nuka Cherry and Nuka Cola, you find that all over the place. But the other ones, not so much. And then you got Bubbles. I don't know why they named Bubbles. It's Bubbles. You can't fuck with Bubbles, dude. See? And I'll give you a nice little shot here so you can see what this whole thing looks like. It's like an old 50's diner soda shop. Pretty cool. Never even knew this was here. It's not. And I'm pretty sure there's another vendor somewhere I just don't know about. Possibly, maybe. I didn't find it amongst my scavenging. But they're there. Definitely there. I think there's like 14 in total vendors inside this just building. So, yeah. Number four. And this one is. The suspense is killing me. But, no. There is a secret entrance to the White Springs Bunker within this building. I know, it's crazy, right? Who would have thought that this freaking entrance was here? But it is. Oh, the fucking load time is killing me on PlayStation. Just saying. But yeah. So, if you run straight through the door right off the rip when you get here. Up the stairs like you're going to the two vendors. Now, I got myself turned around a little bit. I'm running through here. Kind of just was winging it, but I kind of got lost at the same time. Yeah, instead of going that way, I, I kind of went looking this way. But you don't have to take this way. As soon as you come up them steps, if you go to your right and just run to the green section of the hotel here, you will see that there's this hallway right there that I just like completely passed. That's where you want to go. On a side note, I am going to tell you too, this is a good place to come and just pick up like ceramic or any kind of like metal because there's silverware everywhere and no copper and whatnot because every one of these vases on the table I, I stole picked up and every one of these trash cans had a bunch of shit in it so it's a good place to come just grab some junk where nobody's gonna fuck with you I mean they tell you not to steal nothing in the hotel but none of the assaultrons robots no one tried to attack me stealing shit and you can just go through all these rooms. Every one of these vases, teacups, everything. You end up with a bunch of ceramic, copper, crystal, whatever. But yeah. So you run up these stairs, you go off to this back little hallway, and you see this little hand yes, scanner sitting nowhere. You scan this thing, and what? You have access to the bunker. So if you've done anything uh, with the Enclave towards endgame and you can launch nukes, yada yada, you'll have the general access you need to open this door. But hey, you can do all your shopping and then boof, right to the bunker. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat I thought. 
right? Bright little skull dude, that's pretty neat. Yeah, see he approves. So yeah, if you didn't know, there is a hidden entrance here and sooner or later I'm gonna figure out how to get access to these other rooms in here too and I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know how that works. Number five. This is the last thing on our list here and it's kind of a long shot. But, uh, yeah, if you go off in the green room where there's the piano and the vase, you can open this door. You come back in here and it's some sort of, like, back storage room, right? But you go over here and you see this Assaultron. And I notice it has a name. Its name is Lotus. Like, what's the deal? How did Lotus end up in the scrap? Was she an old vendor bot here? And then they killed her off and just deprogrammed her or what? So if any of y'all know what the story behind Lotus here, drop a like, let me know. But either way, that was my top five things you can do in the White Springs Resort. So yeah, if you liked the video, give me a subscription, hit the like button, leave a comment, do whatever. It's, you know, it all helps out in the long run. In this day and age, we ain't got nothing better to do than make videos. <laughs> it's crazy. But all the love, it's, I appreciate it. Anything y'all got, dude, throw it out there. But, once again, Two Cent Killer Gaming in the house. Hope y'all stay safe and stay healthy. And have a good one.